All right, we're going to be looking at doing the isometric view um, from these three uh, third angle orthographic projection views. And um, what we're going to start with is looking at how to go about drawing the auxiliary views. You'll see that they've got a number of hexagonal shapes. There's two hexagonal shapes. There's the small one and this big one on the outside, and they've got that square. Um, they left out this measurement of 38 for that side over there, so just uh, change that on your drawings. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to take that measurement of 38, measure that off accurately, come over here, draw an arc going round. You can see that I've got a centre line going up there that is incredibly important. Right, once I've got that arc in place, I can now come across here and draw with a 60 degree angle, a line going up there from that intersection and a line going up there from that intersection and a line going across over here from the intersection of the line and that circle. Right, the next auxiliary view, same story. I've got a radius of 25 um, because of the side length of 25. So I've drawn an arc with a radius of 25. I now take my set square and I draw a line going at 60 degrees there, a line going at 60 degrees over here, and a line going across over there, giving me that hexagon. Right, the last one is that square. Um, it has a side length of 28. I'm going to take a point from there, measure out, draw an arc of 28, take my set square, my 45 degree set square, draw a line out at 45 degrees. That length over there is obviously 28 because of the radius, and I can now finish off my square um, by drawing that and I can draw a center line over there. Note the center lines are always important in this game. Right, once I've got my auxiliary views, I can now try and find the center lines. I always say work from your centers and you'll leave nothing out. Okay, um, we need to draw a front view and a left view um, because those are the two views that they've shown us here. There's a front view and a left view. Uh, my front view obviously needs to go in that direction. My left view needs to go in that direction over there. Um, and from there, what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, measure off the distance back from the corner over there to that center. Where do I get that? Well, I get that off my auxiliary view over here. I measure back that distance. I go over here to A, I mark that off, and straight away I draw in a center line. Draw in a center line going across here. Okay, once I've done that, I now need to figure out what that gap is going back to the center. And I get that from this auxiliary view over here. Please note where I'm getting that measurement. It is it's not the same as that measurement over there. Right, so I'm taking that measurement. I come over here and I mark that off over there and I can now draw in a second center line going back. Let's just get the right color for this. Right, there we go. There's my center lines done. Once I've done that, well, I know that the corner over there, that is that intersection over there. What I need to find is this point over here. That distance from the center line to there, where do I find that? I'll find that on my auxiliary view over here. So I measure that off accurately. Go to that center line and mark that off over there. Right. Once I've got that in place, um, I need to figure out where the opposite side of this thing is. Obviously, we're working with our center lines, so I can take that measurement over there, and I can swing that round to the opposite side, and I can draw a construction line coming out over there. And obviously, using my set square, I can take that point that I just measured from the center line to there, taking that across there, giving me another point on the other side. Right, once I've got that, I can now draw in a few lines. Remember, as soon as you can figure out where the line is, rather draw it in, you will get some marks for it. That line, I can definitely see. That line, I can definitely see. Right, and I can also take a line going back over here. Um, it will obviously continue going back over there. I'm not too concerned about that right now though. Okay, once I've got that, my next thing is to get the height of this hexagon, okay? It is going to go up by 10 millimeters. Um, you can see the 10 millimeters over there, and I can now take 
my compasses over here, set them to 10 millimeters. I'm going to draw a few construction lines coming up over here, over there, over there, and over there. Um, and with that, I can come along here and measure off my 10 millimeters over there. Right, this is a nice little trick. You'll note that I only measured once. I'm now going to take my set square, line it up on that angled line over there. Remember, it's not at uh, 30 degrees or anything like that. I'm going to slide it until I meet that mark over there, and I can now draw a line accurately going across over there. I do the same thing on this side. Get your set square lined up accurately, slide it, and you can now draw in that line over there. Right, once you've got that, well, you're pretty much on your way to finishing off that hexagon. Um, and you can draw a line there, you can draw a line there, and you can draw a line there. Right. I'm going to continue by drawing this next hexagon inside of here, and, uh, and we'll work, work from there. Okay. Um, I'm going to find the hexagon on the top. Remember, the center lines over here are on the bottom. I need to find a set of center lines that are slightly higher up. In fact, 10 millimeters higher up. Draw a center line coming down here, like that. You've got your 10 millimeters over there, going up from there to there. So I can take a center line going across here. And I can draw a center line going across over here now. Right, there's a center line going across there. So it didn't come out as a center line, but that's fine. Okay. Um, from that center, I now look at my second auxiliary view over here, and I can see that the, that length over there, that length over there that I've measured, is that length going from there to there. So I go to my center over here, and I mark that off over there. I turn it around, I mark that off over there, and I can draw in two construction lines going back over there, and over there. Two construction lines. Um, once I've got that in place, I can take my pair of compasses, measure off that distance for the half of the length of the side, go to that point that I just made, mark it off over there, mark it off over there, and I can draw in that little length of side straight away. I need to find that length of side on the opposite side over here. So I take a mark over there and a mark over there, and I'm going to just draw in that story over there nice and easily. Right, last thing for that hexagon, I'm going to measure off this radius of 25, going across there, go to the center over there, mark that off over there, mark that off over there, and you have now got that hexagon done rather nicely, there and there, and there, and there. Right, just finishing off this hexagon in the center, we know that it's got a depth of, of 10 millimeters. You can see the hidden detail over there. So I'm going to drop some construction lines down just from that corner and just from that corner over there. Right, I'm going to take my pair of dividers or pair of compasses, and I measure off my 10 millimeters. I'm just going to take it straight off this drawing over here. There's my 10 millimeters over there. Okay, I can come along here and I can mark off my 10 millimeters coming down over there. Right, once I've got a mark over there, I can now take my set square, line it up on that line over there, slide it back, drawing a line going across there. Take your ruler off, Line your ruler up on that line over there, slide it down to that point over there, draw a line going across there, and take your set square, line it up on that line over there, slide it back to that point over there, and you now have your hexagon with the right depth drawn in. Draw those two lines in, and you finish the hexagon in there. Right, continuing with this, um, you can see over here from that center line going right to the back is 90. So I set my pair of compasses 
to 90. There we go. Go to the center line, go right to the back over there. That's my 90. And I can finish off drawing that line going right the way from that corner all the way back to that 90 over there. Right. I'm going to draw a line coming up over here. This is the construction line going up. And on that line, I can measure off the, um, the height of this thing. You can see over there, it says 40 millimeters. So I set my pair of compasses to 40. Measure off 40 over there. That's the height of it. I can draw another construction line going back this way and a construction line going across there. Right, once I've got that, um, I can then figure out what the true, true width of this thing from there. I can take that across to there and I can mark that off and I can draw a line going across there. Right, it then tells me that I have got 12 millimeters over there and obviously 12 millimeters over there. Set my pair of compasses to 12 millimeters. Go to the corner over here, mark my 12 millimeters off there, mark my 12 millimeters off there, and draw in some construction lines again. Going from there, going from there. Right, once I've got those lines in place, um, I can then figure off, figure out uh, how far back I'm going. It says over here, 30 millimeters back to there. So I can take my pair of compasses, set them to 30, go to that back corner over there and measure off 30. Once I've got that in place, well, we're good to go for drawing a few lines again. Draw that, I can draw a line coming down over here. I can draw a line going across over there, across over there, take that over there, draw a line going across over there, and a line going across over there. I can then finish that off over there, and over there, and over there. Right, then it says that I've got another 30, so I can take my pair of compasses, they're still set at 30, and I can measure that distance off over there. I can draw a line going across over here, from there to there, from there to there, and drop that down over here, drop that down over there, drop that down over there, and I then need to figure out um, how high up I need to go. I can draw a line coming from this corner, going across to that point over there. I can go over here. I can draw a line going from that corner across to that line going up there. And I should be able to join those two points together with a line going across over here. Right, once I've got that in place, um, it says that I go up 10 millimeters over there. So I set my pair of compasses to 10 millimeters. Go over there, measure up 10 millimeters over there and draw a line going right the way across over there. Line going all the way across over there. I'm going to drop a line coming down from that corner as well. And I can now join that corner over there, going up to there, going up to there, going from there to there, going from there to there. Okay, and um, obviously I need to drop these two lines coming down from there and from there. Right, once I've got that in place, I'm going to draw in a construction line going across over there. I'm going to drop a line coming down over there. I can draw a line going across from there to there. I'm going to draw a line going across over there, and then I'm going to continue it out as a construction line. I'm going to go to this corner over here, 
and I'm going to draw a construction line going across to get that back corner. The reason why I need that is that I want to find the center of this internal part over here. here um, I've got that corner over there, that corner over there. If I take a nice little diagonal line going across here, from there to there, and I can take this line uh, going across from there to there, you'll see that I just found the center, and I need that in order to draw some center lines again. Center line going across here, and a center line going across here. Right, um, you'll see that I've got those center lines over there and over there, and on those center lines I've got that square. I've got this distance over here on my auxiliary view. There's my distance on the square from the center to the corner. I can go over here. There you go, mark that off there. Mark that off there. Mark that off there if you really feel you need to. You can mark it off over there. Right, you should, as soon as you've marked one of those, uh, you should find that you have got the correct distance over there. From there to there, come over here, draw a line going across from there to there. Draw a line going across from there to there. Um, we know that that square goes right the way through this thing, there's hidden detail, but if you look at it, the line going down from that corner is going to be covered over because of the side of that square in that orientation. So you actually don't need to do any more on that square. Right, that is your drawing done.